So I've been looking a lot lately at um, depression and I'm not just talking about clinical depression here, I'm talking about that everyday low level depression that so many of us live with on a daily basis. And so many explanations, theories for what happens, what causes these feelings. And um, I want to talk here today about there is something that happens in depression, and I'm sure you've heard of this before, where there's that sense of nothing that I do in my daily life, the things that I normally do or used to do, none of those things bring me any feeling of joy anymore. Now, what I want to talk about is, and it's, it's, I'm not going to say that it's like this a super simple thing to explain or a simple explanation, but I want to offer one sort of avenue or of thought that maybe you can start using today. And I've said it before, but it's, could be something that's related to that is a, is a psychological cycle we get into where we completely lose touch with what it is we really want. So it's not necessarily that we stop enjoying the things that we really love. That's a symptom of it. But it could be what leads to that is not getting in touch with what do I want. Oftentimes if you ask someone what do you, what is it that you really want? There's a, a pause. There's like, I'm, I don't know anymore what that is. I don't know what I really want anymore. And that can be from past failures. Things haven't worked out before when I did try to get what I want. And often people will try and talk you out of pursuing whatever it is that you want. You know, that's a big, big part of the conditioning we all have as we grow up. When we're children, we know very, very well and clearly what it is we want. But that's conditioned out of us. So my invitation here, what I'm proposing in this video is... Look, there are many causes for depression, but one of them could be to just, and I'm talking not so much the clinical depression because that is, there's a biological aspect to that. It's definitely internalized in the body and it's on a cellular level. It's, it needs significant treatment, but I'm talking about low level depression, uh, low to, to moderate depression maybe, as a cognitive approach to this, to practice asking yourself on a daily basis, what do I want? What do I, and to rest with the fact I don't know. I don't know what that is at the moment, but I'm willing to keep asking that question until something starts to come up again. And that's going to be a feeling of desire for something, a feeling of I want that, and I'm going to start moving towards it, whatever it is. And not to judge it. Okay, it could start off with I want a cup of coffee. And I'm in touch with the fact that. There is a desire in me, a feeling coming up, a want that I want to have a cup of coffee. And now I'm going to go and get the cup of coffee. So it's a desire that comes up and act on it. I act on that desire. What do I really, really want in this moment? What do I want on a larger level, a larger scale level? What do I want for my life? And not to let anyone judge it. Don't judge it yourself. I want to have a better relationship. I want to have more money in my life. I want to live in a nicer house. You know, you name it. And those, those desires are just desires that come up, not to be judged, but to see, okay, what would happen if I pursued that? What would happen if I just moved towards it without judging it, without even needing that thing to come into fruition for it to happen, but I'm just finding myself now following these desires as they come up. Not impulses, these are desires I'm talking about, desires that I know is going to be a good, uh, a good healthy thing for me. How often do we ask ourselves this question, what do I want? Oftentimes it's just we're reacting to things, we're sliding into passive ways of maybe enjoying ourselves, telling ourselves, yeah, this is what I enjoy, but are, is there any real joy in the moment when we find ourselves, you know, watching the fourth episode of the TV show? You know, it's, it's, it's not really what I'm talking about here. What do I want? What will make me feel excited? What will make me feel like I'm moving forward with my life? You know, so it's a big, big difference. So habitually, you know, I, I would say if you're ever going to get a tattoo on your arm, get tattooed, what do I want? Just to continually keep asking yourself that question and watch. There's a feeling coming up. Okay, all right, that's what I want. That's what I want. That's okay to follow that. A part of the, the thing I see with a lot of us is we... We think we know what we want and we structure our lives so rigidly 
about routines and habits and life hacks and all these things that we try to think will bring us to whatever that thing is we wanted a month ago, you know? And so now I have the, the, the routine and the structure and everything and there's no need to kind of ask that question anymore because a month ago, that's what I wanted, you know? So we kind of cut ourselves off from on a daily basis, an hourly basis, ask yourself, what do I want? What do I want? And that's feeding the, the motivation, the desire to keep, okay, that's what I want. And now I'm, I'm moving forward with that. It's still what I want. I'm moving forward with that. There's much less need for routine structures, as I said, life hacks and things like that. So, you know, that's a kind of a higher level to beyond the procrastination stuff I've talked about in lots of videos in the past. It's you get to a point where you don't even need schedules, habits, routines, because you're so in touch with what is this thing that I want? I'm going to trust whatever the desire is that comes up in myself and I'm going to just feel it and I'm not going to judge it and I'm going to let it move me forward. I'm going to let it bring me towards whatever it is I want rather than trying to figure out up here all the time what it is, make a plan and a routine and then stick to that with discipline and have to pull myself towards the goal. Your desire will do all the heavy lifting for you. It will move you forward with it. So if we, to bring it back to the, the depression thing I talked about earlier, it's like for so many of us, it's maybe just routines, the environment we're in, we're not encouraged to ask that question. Our wants, our desires, our preferences are not encouraged. Maybe they're censored and they're put down and we're, we're not encouraged to go after whatever it is that we want. Maybe we're not taught how to negotiate to get the things we want. Maybe we're surrounded by, you know, caregivers, authority figures that don't care about what we want. So we stop asking the question. Whatever it is, the invitation here is to, to maybe consider, start asking that question again. What do I want? And see where that desire, that small desire, what it grows into and where it will lead you to. So I hope that's helpful. And... It's an invitation. Try it out and see if it works for you. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, as always, I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care.